Oh my god, I hate this fan base. What's up guys, my name is Trevor and I am the Gaming Goomba. And in case you've been living under a rock, the entire Super Smash Bros. Ultimate ROM has been leaked on the internet and is available for anybody to download and play. And it's horrible. I didn't plan on making this video today, but I've been seeing other videos from different creators come through throughout the day, and a lot of the opinions are kind of sickening to me, honestly. How would you feel if you poured your heart and soul into a project for years, only for two weeks before its initial release, somebody to steal it and leak it onto the internet to where everybody could play it at no cost? Everybody's trying to throw out, oh, the Nintendo's a crappy organization and they're always copyright claiming people's videos and taking down channels and stuff like that. I'm not talking about Nintendo, the corporate company. I'm more concerned about Sakurai and his team that have been working their butts off to give us the best Smash Brothers game, or maybe even the best video game of all time, only for it to just all be flushed down the toilet. Yes, the game's still going to be released, and yes, a lot of people are still going to buy it, but they were looking forward to the element of surprise, to everybody experiencing the game at the exact same time, and everybody being su surprised and enjoying it together. And now, the fans have taken that away from this team, and that's horrible. It's disgusting. Oh, and if you impatient assholes think that we're ever going to get another story mode or adventure mode again, you're thinking wrong. I don't know if you guys remember, but when Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out, Sakurai was pretty upset about the fact that people were uploading the cutscenes from that game, from the Subspace Emissary, to YouTube after the game's release. How do you think this man feels now that all the cutscenes and everything from the story mode in the newest Smash Brothers game is up and online for everybody to see before the game has even come out? Anybody who's on the side of the two YouTubers that had their accounts terminated for uploading uh, footage and music from the game, you're wrong. Just plain and simple. Nothing you say will justify taking somebody else's property and releasing it for everybody to see before it's meant to be seen. Oh my god, it's just this poor guy. This is his life. Smash Brothers is his life. Sakurai, it's heart and soul. And all he wants is to please the fans. He wants to surprise us. He wants us to be happy. And we can't even give the man the satisfaction of surprising us, of, of giving us something to be excited about, something to make us feel like kids again, because all you a-holes just want to go steal the game and put it up for everybody to see. Haha, ha, there you go. You, you got the game now. Everybody can see it now. What have you accomplished? What have you accomplished by doing that? All you've accomplished is pissing off one of the greatest game designers of all time. Anybody who downloads this ROM, hell, anybody who just intentionally looks up the spoilers to this game, knowing you're going to want to watch it when you actually play the game anyways, and especially the people who ripped this ROM and dumped it onto the internet two weeks before its release, you're a crappy fan, and you are toxic to this fan base. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Trevor, the Switch is doing great. It's selling so well. Nintendo's doing fine. The Switch is doing good, but it's doing nowhere near as good as some of the consoles in Nintendo's past. This console is the ticket to keeping Nintendo alive. Nintendo is the only surviving company that's completely dedicated to video games. Sony, we all know Sony makes all sorts of other products. Microsoft, they might not even be making an Xbox for the next couple of years. Nintendo is all we have left as a community. They're one of the only companies that stays committed to its fans and committed to what we want. And if we're going to continue doing crap like this, they might not be around for much longer. Nintendo deserves more respect than this, but more importantly, Sakurai deserves more respect than this. How many of your guys' childhoods was built single-handedly by Masahiro Sakurai? I couldn't tell you how many countless hours were spent in my garage with my friends playing Super Smash Brothers on the N64. That man deserves so much better than what you guys are giving him right now. Again, sorry for the rant video. It's not usually my style to do these types of videos, but I just had to get that off my chest. That's just how I feel about this whole situation.
Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of today's video. It means the world to me. And also, congrats to Brody LeDrew, you and the three-month Nintendo Switch Online membership. And guys, I actually only had three people enter last week. So next time I do one of those giveaways, you might want to hop on it because not a lot of people enter them, and you'll actually have a pretty high chance of taking home some free stuff. So make sure you do that. Also, thanks to everyone just for watching this video today. Any single view means the whole world to me, and it would mean even more to me if you left the like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000. We're so close to 1,000. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I'll See you in the next one.